everybody, it's Faith from Fire Signs here. Hope everybody's well. All right, Taurus, we're throwing them down for you for January 2022. I know, I'm having a hard time processing it myself. Okay, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The mess is given by the cards. Choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, but keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And as your friends, cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, think you want to hang out some more, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Please keep in mind, never make a life alter decision based on a tour reading. And if it just isn't your reading, your story, or your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Also, I've opened comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll keep them open. Okay, Seven of Pentacles and the Prince of Wands reverse popped out. Hmm. I feel like you're patiently awaiting communication. Just ain't coming. Oof. All right. Or vice versa, I guess. All right, let's get them down. the camera all right Heavenly Father Mother Earth Holy Spirit Spirit Guide Dark Angels I ask you for any messages you have for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today I appreciate you I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring Taurus to their highest possible spiritual good put them on their highest possible spiritual path King of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Mm. All right. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Brought back a golden oldie spread. Some of you have been hanging around for a minute might recognize it. Gonna get the energy of the person Taurus is dealing with, please. Oof. Dang. <laughs> World reverse for your overall. Talk to you about this world reversed. Queen of Swords. There's unfinished business here. You got something to say. 
you got some truth to speak. Okay, one more. Mm. That's going to be a rough conversation. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Seven of Wands, standoffish, confrontational. Possibly you feel like they got some inner demons they got to battle. Tower and the Ace of Pentacles. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. They've been through some shit. And yes, they have. Why the Eight of Swords? What you think of them? Anxiety? Anxious? Bound by their own thoughts? Jaded. Yeah, they've been through some stuff, haven't they? Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck. So much love to give, but they're jaded. Closed off to the connection, maybe. They may have just gotten caught. It's fine. Why the two of pentacles reversed? Whoa, hi. Mmm. Tended actions. Two of pentacles reversed. Terrafin reversed. You're going to explore other options. You're going to break this up and explore their options. Why the Five of Cups reversed? Page of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Double reversed at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Wow. person you're dealing with. I'm going to leave that there. Nine of Pentacles. They are good on their own, financially speaking anyway. Empress. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hmm. How they feel about you is strength. It's like they know you're holding something back. Page of Wands. Possibly view is slightly childish. Two of Wands reversed, you're at a crossroads, can't make up your mind. You see the potential within them. You do. But. It wands reversed. They feel it coming. I'm telling you that right now. This difficult conversation. Is a conversation about you moving on.
Why the five of wands for how, what they think of you? That's confrontational energy. Two of swords. You might be trying to avoid confrontation. That's how they feel. Trying to figure out the best way to go about it. You're putting it off. They can feel this. They feel it, Taurus. They feel it. They feel it. Knight of Wands. He don't hang out long. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They feel the change coming. They feel the change coming. What flipped? Hanged man. Accepting the fate. Their intended actions is the Five of Swords reversed. Oh, they're going to eat the heartbreak. They're eating the heartbreak. They don't think it's fair, but they're eating the heartbreak. King of Wands reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Oh, no. They're going to let this come to a dead stop. I'm just going to let it happen. Outcome, Ace of Wands. Why the Ace of Wands? Ace of Cups reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maybe next time. Wow. Wow. I've never been more confused in my life, Taurus. So let me get this straight. You have issues. I mean, I'm not pointing fingers, but you have issues with their closed offness and their uneasiness and their anxiety. I feel like this is an ultimatum. This is so weird. This is weird. Just throwing that out there. This is this is freaking weird. You know they've been through some stuff, but you see the potential in them. You think the world of them. They're closed off. So this is an honest conversation about you moving on altogether, or they need to move on from their stuff, or this isn't going to happen. They need to disconnect from their toxic crap. Or the door's closed. Either it is or it isn't. Either it is or it isn't. So you're going to give up. You're going to give up, but you're going to stay hung up. That makes sense. Oh, wow. Six of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Two of Swords. Nine of Wands reversed. Six of Swords. Four reversed. Okay. on this. I don't do not know what I just read. 
I mean, I know what I just read, but it has me confused, I'm not going to lie. I don't understand why you would give up that easily. I feel like you're dealing with an extremely intuitive person, though. All right, Moonology for Taurus. Moonology for Taurus. Surrender to the divine. New Wisdom Oracle for Taurus. Wisdom Oracle for Taurus. Wisdom Oracle for Taurus. Time for a nap. Nap actually sounds pretty good right now, not gonna lie. But I got cards to read. Time for a nap. Yep. Okay. Full moon, surrender to the divine. If I can find it. The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind, agreed? But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Oh man, tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface. No matter when the moon cycle, when in the moon cycle you've pulled this card, matters will still conclude, will soon conclude. You'll find out whether or not your wishes are gonna come true. The odds are in your favor as this is a positive card. But you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Do 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 just throwing that out there. Mm, ain't gotta go down like it says it's gonna go down. Just throwing that out there. Some over here about explosive emotions, so somebody may need to take it down a notch. Or three. Time for a nap. When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. Oh, well. That sounds like sound advice, Doris. Just throwing that out there. Don't close the door unnecessarily. All right, guys, I love you. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, happy, healthy, and safe 2022. I will catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light.